You can never really put your finger on exactly what caribou are gonna do. They move from one place to another, and just when I think I start to understand them, they do something completely different. So I just woke up and uh, came outside to go to the bathroom with Java, and there's like a couple dozen caribou like sleeping on the lake right now. Generally, this time of year, the caribou are all far gone. So I've been like subsisting off of small game, squirrels, rabbits. There they are. It's like a fire drill, you know? It's like not really prepared for this kind of thing to just go down so fast. It's like I haven't had breakfast, I haven't had coffee, I haven't had anything. And they're not moving, they're just laying there. It's like the most incredible thing I've seen. It's gotta be one of the hardest stalks you could ever put on a caribou. So you're about six, 700 yards away from them. Basically what happened was, one of them felt uneasy and it jumped up. Herd instinct, the rest of them jump up. Some of them are still laying down. They're starting to kind of go back down a little bit, so I'm just going to let them be at ease. They only have the best eyesight, so they're going to think I'm a caribou, as long as I'm not posing any sort of threat. So my approach is let them see me, so none of them get rattled and jump up like they just did. So if they're all just looking at me and I'm kind of just walking at them slowly, not posing a threat, they're gonna let me walk toward them. Let's go. Holding the gun above my head just kind of shows like antlers. It's the little subtle things like that encourage the caribou to believe that I'm just another caribou. Yeah, stalk, man. I've gone like 100 yards. It's freaking nerve-wracking, man. Try to close that gap a little bit more. 